Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to show with you guys. If you remember here recently, I said that BRS sent me a whole bunch of stuff and I split it up into two unboxings. This is the second half. They, they sent me two other boxes, so I've yet to get into them. I'm going to be uh, sharing them with you guys today. I, I think all of this stuff is available, so I'm going to link this stuff right down below so you guys can take a look at it if you want to. It does help my channel when you use my link, so I'd appreciate it, but that's up to you. Thanks so much to BRS for sending this stuff in. Thanks to my patrons who are supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right, what do we have? This is a large knife. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the one that I asked for. Yeah, oh, cool. <laughs> I asked for this because of the interesting... So the way that they did this sort of bolster, I didn't realize that this was the material. The carbon fiber here looks really good. Now, as is the case with shred carbon fiber in general, it's expected that there will be a few voids, right? And there, I can see just a couple, but it's really pretty minimal, honestly. This is a big knife. Look at that. Look how they do the standoffs there. BRS is always doing different stuff. They're always doing kind of weird stuff. I like this because you can see there, it's a countersunk, or I'm sorry, it's a, it's a recessed liner. Oh, yeah. The snap on that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man, the action's really good. Really good. Really good action. So right off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys, I do appreciate that it's a recessed liner. We need a little bit more access, access right here. You can get at it, right? But you're pushing down on a thin little liner there. The detent is tuned very well for how they want you to deploy this. Not too heavy, not too light. And the uh, ergonomic lines, we have this gigantic open area right here where you can absolutely choke up right under the blade. Look how they, they point that down right there, right at the end. That's interesting. And then we have, hmm, I don't know what the blade steel is. just gunk. Sorry, let me get that off there. I don't know what the blade steel is. So I'm going to guess. Here's the name of the knife right here. Name of the knife, right? We'll make sure and have it linked right down below. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I saw this on Blade HQ. Um, I think that's why. Look at the clip. <laughs> nice, that's a cool clip. Uh, and the uh, carry depth is, is reasonable as well. Extremely comfortable to hold, definitely. Love that it's recessed liner. Um, just, yeah, my really my only cr critique right off the bat is just access to it, but it's still plenty good. And the action, man, the action's really nice, guys. Really nice. I like, I like how that looks. It kind of, it kind of looks like an alternate universe PM2, right? Kind of. Um, really appreciate that it's the handle scales are also really comfortable as well because of this chamfering. I like how they do this line here. That's neat. Very cool. Okay, so we and we do have. They did full liners on both sides. Cool. Okay. And then what do we have here? Something equally heavy. Is it, oh, is it the same thing in a different form? Yeah. Oh man, what the heck? <laughs> what is this? This is, is this like a laminate? I can't tell. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so we have something on top, I think. I think what we have here, I'm trying to get a look at the fibers and things. I'm pretty sure that that's G10 that is laminated with some type of carbon fiber that has something laced in it. Kind of like how Spyderco does it. Okay, it looks neat. I wish that it was solid all the way through, but I honestly don't know. Uh, I'm just, I mean, it's impossible to know when I'm just unboxing and I have no information here. So this appears to be the same model, let's check and see. The action is the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. Um, these are cool. I mean, ergonomically, they're very good. I think they're also quite large. It appears to be, an, in fact, I, I think I remember reading the specs that it was like a nine inch knife. No, it's more than that. It's nine and a quarter. Blade length, holy crap. Blade length is four and an eighth and you're cutting edge. Your cutting edge is four inches. 
That's a lot of knife, for sure. That's a lot of very easy to manipulate knife. I am almost certain I read that these were M390. They're very easy and very friendly to manipulate outside of just maybe a little needed access right in here, a little bit. I'm gonna guess they have a few different variations of these things, just given, I don't remember seeing this one, but it's neat. I mean, I guess if you're gonna do a laminate, you know, make sure it looks cool and it's not just like a, just a generic carbon fiber sticker, right? Um, but I'm still not, that looks like G10 to me and then this looks like, you know, something here. Um, but yeah, this is a cool, this is a really interesting model. I was really curious about what was in, because I knew, I knew they were sending me one of these and I was like, well, what's the fourth box? In fact, a couple, I only expected a couple models, but they sent me four. So cool. Okay. Well, uh, I think that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, like I said, this is just an unboxing and first impressions. So the full comprehensive review of these knives will come uh, a couple of weeks down the road. So be looking out for those. Uh, you can check these out in the description. I'll make sure that they're linked down there. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.